There we are again back at the mini workbench after a little bit of a break. In fact, in the break there's been a fair bit of work happen. Talked about the general arrangement here and I've actually, you know, that's logical. And I've actually been doing it physically. So I had to create this inner panel here. Uh, that's two layers of, of, I think it's about eight millimeter that I, uh, I ripped down out of a larger board. It's all scrap, this whole board's scrap. So. So we're just using bits and pieces. So, so this is the, uh, that's the rip on the, the bandsaw. That one will actually fit in here. We've got some notches uh, planned for the power that's got to come up from underneath. The, the section here uh, needs to also be hollowed out, notches to follow through here, but also hollowed out underneath for the power supply. The power supply will, here it is here, will butt up against that piece underneath but this it needs a hollow for for that section and the cables to run out the side so we've got eight isolated we've got 12 volts in eight isolated 500 milliamp um, outlets um, I tr decided to change power adapter here I was going to use a slightly larger HP one um, this one's um, 3.25 amps at 19 volts fits in here the reason well, the reason for using this one is it'll actually allow me to lower this uh, pedal a little bit so not the the, the 30 mil here everything else that's under here is going to be 25 mil uh, thick so if I if I lower it down to 26 give a mil of clearance then I get uh, four more millimeters um, and it doesn't sound like much but these this this is the, th the fattest pedal I'm not sure whether you can see that probably best seen from the end here so it sits up proud and the knobs are, are a fair way proud of the you know of the other knobs by about four or five millimeters four millimeters maybe I just want to drop that back and again it's all to do with um, keeping it as low profile as possible because of the laptop case um, that it sits on a lot of the working out that I was doing here was to do with ca cables and connectors. So I've got a whole range of um, uh, uh, right angle connectors and all right angle connectors are all different, different brands, different types. I found these sort of button type and, I, and these have been fantastic. These were uh, relatively cheapy um, and they allow me to sandwich these close together. These connectors here, um, pancake connectors, right angle pancake connectors. You see I haven't actually wired them yet. Um, but this is just giving the physical layout. Um, those right angle pancake connectors are um, uh, from a local um, electronic parts supply. And I noticed that they're actually got a lower profile, they're skinnier pancake basically, than the other more com um, commercially available ones. So these ones, this is actually a commercially available patch cable. And um, there's about two or three millimeters of shaft of the of the um, the, the uh, pin the shaft well the shaft still sticking out and then the thickness of the pancake is is a fair deal thicker fair deal thicker so these ones allow me to sandwich these these cables a lot close these pedals a lot closer together um, and I'm just using I've just cut up one of those um, cables there it's going to loop around to those it's just a stereo straight through they don't quite match those connectors if they did it'd be great to uh, you know just to put it straight through but anyway this has got to be lowered so they won't line up anyway so fitting these in you know there's a bit of a shuffle to get these connectors to go the right way a bit of width here i could move that across i could put a smaller connector on there and i'm still tempted to because it'll be on the other end so i'll be able to swap that end to end and that, that'll just give a little bit more freedom sideways i don't actually need more but if i put some um padding in um felt in there just to protect the the nice pedal I, I normally put a layer of felt in where wherever a pedal touches anything um, that'll allow you know that it keeps it firm and and holds it together I may need that clearance so if I do I'll just swap that cable around that's that right angle connector and that right angle connector can swap this um, King of Kings fits in nicely the Strymon fits in I've still got to make up the cables <coughs> to plug direct into so so let me think these two these two outs uh, stereo outs go straight into the stereo in of the Strymon and then the stereo out of the Strymon uh, are actually these ones so the other end so they're just standard commercial cables and they'll actually fit I've still got to cut the cut through underneath of this section 
uh, for access for those cables. The power cable I was able to put an L shape, previously I had a straight connector there. So everything's working out. These even nest on each other reasonably well, so I like, quite like that. That's neat. So for the most part, uh, the, these cables here will actually be underneath when they're routed properly. So for the most part, and that cable will go through underneath. For those, you won't see cables. They're the only two cables you'll see. Of course, it'll all be black, so you'll see that when I've finished. So I think it's looking good. There is a there is a possibility of lowering those two a little bit. I still have that four meter four millimeters. So if I actually lowered this, I could lower all of those. Um, but I think I'll start with lowering this. It's just a simple notch, a bit like this notch that I created here for the um, the delay pedal here. Is, is notched in to this top piece but basically they're just sitting on all the pedals are sitting the ends of the pedals are sitting on you know there's a rail here and a rail there and it's just nice and solid um, so I've got to drop drop this in cut its hole out on the side for that to go in it needs to be recessed into that back board underneath there so so it will go in there nicely uh, probably actually doesn't need to be recessed much. I could bring that forward. Oh no, I've got a cable to go in there. Yeah, I need some space, so uh, I'll work. I'll work that out. So I may not have to recess it much. We'll see. Uh, so that goes in under there. I've got to make this cable up, which is going to be a stereo summing cable. So I've got the resistors uh, for that, or two two of those resistors, to produce a proper stereo summing cable. Now, stereo summing is controversial, and what I have done is I've checked all the phases uh, on each of these pedals, and I had to change the phases of the stereo um, settings um, on the Vertigo so that the stereo sum output would actually be okay. So there's still a little... I, I, I tested that with another big, long stereo sum cable I do have that I made years ago, um, but this just needs to be a little short one to, to go from here uh, and come up to these two connectors, the outs on the uh, cabinet simulator. So, so the final final steps really in the layout is to lower these, um, but I probably shouldn't do that until I've got the power supply layer fitted. So all the, these power, these lower level components need to be in place um, so that I know. And there's the regulator box that will sit in there, so that I know that everything fits in together. By the way, this is the, the previous power supply that I used for the old pedal board and it's a um, 19 volts, 3.16 amps. So we're going up to 19 volts at 3.25 amps um, for the main power supply, main pit switch mode. That then gets um, reduced to 12. Now I'm going to be using two um, regulators, one a 5 amp, 5 amp, 9 volt, uh, 12 volt regulator to drive this guy and then um, which I think is what this actually is, but I, I'll I need to I can't remember what that really was. Um, so that's being replaced, and that's that's would have fitted in there except for the regulator situation. And if I was going to reuse this, I would address the regulator situation because that does actually fit in there and allow me to drop this one down lower. So um, that still actually is an option to reuse this and obviously fix up the regulator. But I, I, I was, this may be more complication than is necessary, but this little box here will have two regulators in it, two 12 volt regulators. Um, actually a 12 volt, sorry, and a nine volt. The nine volt regulator will be passed through, um, passed through here and provide nine volts out for, um, for the, in-ear um, amplifier, the little in-ear monitor amplifier unit that I have. So that it gets the headphones from here, which pass through, and it gets nine volts, which pass through, and those two cables will you know, bundle those and run them up to the in-ear uh, monitor device. So overall, very happy with the layout. You know, so as you're doing all this, you, you, start, you wish pedal companies would you know standardize on something on things they can't standardize but um, one of the things I often find is you know why we're we still using these big six millimeter connectors and of course they can't they won't go away from six six point two five but they're massive connectors for for the purpose um, of these audio signals um, you know maybe there's a there's a thought there maybe they all should be you know one day it's all going to be digital 
and that the indiscreet pedals like this won't be uh, won't be an issue. Um, the cost of all this, I'm trying to keep it low cost, um, and you know all the pedals here um, are either bought cheaply or bought second hand, um, and uh, so I'm I'm really happy with the overall cost. So so in my, for me it's an affordable pedal board without without moving to a, a you know a digital model board like a Helix. Um, I just that's just far too technical for me to bother with at this point in time. Um, and I quite like what I can do with this. So this is just my approach at the moment. It's kind of traditional in terms of discrete pedals for discrete um, sounds. But I'm really happy with the way the amplifier um, simulator fits in. We've got the two blues breaker overdrive stages. The, the, amp, the amp simulator's got a, a dirty channel as well. So effectively we've got four levels of gain. Um, four levels of adjust, well, three levels of adjustable and one baseline clean. Um, the uh, this pedal's fitted in here nicely. I've got a little riser in here. In fact, I've got a riser underneath the King of Kings as well, um, just to just to bring it up, bring, bring these knobs similar height. And that's one of the reasons also for dropping down the vertigo. The knob on the vertigo is a lot higher than all the others, and it's just nice to have them similar height. So I'm really happy I've been able to incorporate in a in a pedal board uh, enclosure that fits into that laptop case that I'm using. I've been able to incorporate. Um, basically uh, two extra pedals and, and I've done that, I've achieved that by downsizing the the um, chorus pedal to a mini pedal style, downsizing the the compressor to this beautiful TC Electronic. This is a very capable pr compressor, three band compressor and um, and then adding these two and also um, two discrete pedals became one here so so the footprint of two you know of this sort of size um, has narrowed a little bit one thing about this is i wish they just narrowed these you know switches just that little bit i don't know they were trying to separate them but they, they put them close to others on the outside especially on a pedal that's got um, no side connectors because um, you could actually put another pedal right next to it and those would be really close and that's why I'm spacing this out a little bit um, a little bit more than the gaps and that one I'm stuck with anyway it's just curious it's all curious I'm very very much enjoying the way that's come together because the original planning work just using pictures um, you know once I've built the box made the box fit in had had my slight doubts about the fact that this 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 was going to all fit together but being able to you know use these really low profile um, pancake connectors it's it has a actually worked out this one was the most complicated but that i found an orientation of those connectors where that just nests in there nicely um, the issue i uh, had to find a power power connector with a very very narrow barrel a lot of connectors are really fat once you get to here and that was interfering with the um, with the pancake connector. The other option I have for a connector there is I think I'm going to end up with one of these cables spare so that's potentially an option for there but it, look it's all fitting together at the moment so there's no need for that. I've drilled the hole in the side for the input jack I need to round that over. I may do that with a router um, similar to the round over that's on here and then I've got to cut the uh, the, the holes for, for this guy as I mount him in. So that's the next step is to do that bottom layer. So that's been the fiddling around change of power supply, accommodating everything, making it all slot in. Um, a lot of these cables I've already clipped to length. You can see you know, this cable is clipped to length ready to be um, um, soldered in. This cable here I've tucked it under but that's clipped to length for the length I need to come out to here. Um, these are clipped to length uh, uh, for that little round turn there and this one's even shorter. So I've got a number of cables, lots of cables actually to make up. But that's the next step, make up all those cables now that I've got them, you know, essentially in the uh, configuration that, uh, that I'm going to have to live with <laughs> for the next period of time. So that's the next stage. I'll do some more work probably on those cables and or even mounting the bottom here and just uh, and, and catch you up in a moment. Welcome back. A little bit of time has passed and it's time to do some dry fitting. I've been 
I've made up some of the cables you can see all different lengths here some of the some secondhand cables from other purposes um, this uh, rear panel here has been let's get rid of this this rear panel here has been recessed and notched and notched here recessed there to lower that that uh, reverb pedal the centerpiece has been notched here and lowered there as well and pass throughs for cables it's a bit of an order of operations here to get, put this together so the first thing I need to do is put this in here because it becomes captive so that's our th that's our through block which gives us the outputs this center cross member goes in here lines up screwed in from the edge sides these stainless steel screws best if, I, best if I do it with my right hand holes should line up yes feeling like it is firm but not tight other one in and I'll put one in from underneath as well it's actually got three screws holes set established for coming from underneath this is a dry fit so I don't expect that this is the last time this all goes together one more screw we'll put this one in the middle The bottom is not fully painted and the sides are just a quick rough undercoat at this stage probably needs a rub back and then a final coat it's just a matte black okay that gives it the rigidity that we need now this is in first cable to go in is the long one which i've got lying around here here it is. The reason being, it's not, easy, it's not easy to pass this through once everything's in. So that will, that will be there. Next thing in is the power supply. I've got most of the cables sitting ready. That sits there. Definite study in order of operations. Here's the laptop power supply. Um, we've got a hole cut in here now, and this slots in. And I've put the regulators in here, so I've got a 12 volt regulator giving me 12 volts to supply there, here, and I've got a 9 volt regulator giving me 9 volts to pass pass through. So I don't use any of that direct regulated power. Um, for parent powering pedals All right, that's good probably just a little bit of excess cable that's good happy with that I might end up putting just a bit of tape across there just um, don't like things sitting loose like that now the next thing that I need to drop in let me think about this that comes up there Oop, forgot to move. Put to pull this one up through its little and it comes up there. So get those two ready for those pedals. We'll talk about those in a minute. That one's there. This one can go through here. Hopefully that will be out of the way. I can always bring it down and through there. Perhaps I think I will bring it down and through there. I think that was the original path I had for it the other day. <coughs> A 
remember rightly, that just makes it. In that corner. Now again, this is order of operations. We need to be we need to remember exactly which way they go. That's that guy. That's that guy. So we don't need him yet. Those two guys are ready. Next is this strange looking piece. That slots in there and holds this captive. And those two cables need to be above it. This holds the power supplies, anchors the power supplies in. It's a bit tight, which is good. So that holds that in and also holds that in solid. so far. Oh yes, this one. One of them goes there, and this one, yes, this one's going to come out through this hole. <coughs> a couple of them that need to come out through here. That guy, which is the power to the tuner. This guy, which is the power to the compressor. And should be another straight one. Which I can't see at the moment. So I've possibly muddled something up. I think I've left that long enough, so that needs to swap over with one of these. And this, this will fit. Yeah, that was in the wrong spot. It needs to come through under here. In which case, it's this one. So they all slip, they all move along one. I was being too clever when I made it neat. And then this one goes the opposite way. This was the one, I think the other one that comes out through here. Yeah. X 
this cable can go pulled in here. I think that looks good. <clears throat> Let's plug that in now that we've got this in place. Good. Looking good. That's over the top. Oh, okay, that's in there. Good. What's next? Probably this guy. Now here's these little cables that I made up. Let's see if we can get all these to come through. Not exactly sure how this is going to work. Again, all of operations issues earlier in the day. To the delay pedal and these will come up to the the outputs that go into the new neighbor this one so let's put those together one two let's see what we've tangled haven't tangled anything might put that on the other side now my lefts and rights I'm not too concerned about because it's me that's making the, the, the signals here. I'm not taking a left and right from somewhere else. Right, that's looking good. Probably need to put the this cable in. Let's drop it in there for the time being. Headphones out from here. Good. You can sit there. You can sit there. Headphones out goes into there. Power goes around the headphones out. Nests there. Alright, we're looking pretty good so far. What's that sticking in the way? Now, rear panel probably should go in after after I put these in, but, but it does help hold that in place. Might need to take it out and put it in again later. Alright, so that's good, that helps there. 
and the spacer. Lots of spacers. These will get foam on the surfaces once I put them together fully. And I probably can't put this one in until Yeah, that's an order of operations issue. So there's not much room there. Well let's see how we go. Probably need to have the tuner in next. Okay, power in, power out. That power out will power the chorus pedal. Tuner drops in nicely, and this spacer drifts in there. back and last time I assembled this I had this underneath that but it probably doesn't matter next pedal should be these two. I've got those new cable that I made up. Just just enough distance between the pancake connectors for these. Those little cables and the power. Power goes in with a flashback. Now I, I've left off the rest of the cover there just to give it space when it drops in there. That's looking good. One fits nicely. Yes, that slots into its little, yes, its little depression. Cables under there are a bit tight, so they're pushing up. Let's pull them down. They'll settle a little bit. A little bit of upwards pressure so we'll, we'll need to tighten those up now I haven't put this other cable in yet because I hadn't made it up but this is just a dry fit okay now these two were, were really tricky when I first fitted them but I think things settled down <coughs> excess cable there. Tried not to have too much excess cable because it's really to avoid this issue of needing to deal with excess cable. Right, that's going to fit. That goes under there. That still sits down. That ledge is nice. Let's get those pedals. Plugs into there. Nice.
is where things are pretty tight. But it does all work out because I've tried it before I painted it all and as I was assembling it, it seemed to work out. This one's the challenge where I've got a cable that gets caught underneath those. That's pushing up just from a pressure of the cable which will settle. Get his power in and his power in. There's a little bit of excess cable there that's causing me an issue, so I may have to shorten that. Because that's putting upward pressure on the pedal. Now this little strange shape fits nicely over the top of that connector and slots in just to help lock that together. Yep. A little loop of cable which I don't like I don't like which we'll need to get rid of. But that's looking pretty good. There needs to be firm in there. Still a bit of upward pressure on those. Alright, we're getting there. Next top pedal is this King of Kings. Power first, and that long one that comes from over here. Power's fouling there. Did have the power going the other way last time? Yes, that's better. Good. And last but not least, the hypergravity compressor. Its power can come through there. And that loops into there. And just just fits in there nicely. Now there's a couple of other spaces and risers. This one sits down in there. And I can't see where I've put the other two. But essentially, the next one sits in there, there's one that sits in there and there's also another little one that sits in here to space this off so it's about that thick it spaces that off there and this one spaces this off here I can put that in these will all be a bit tighter once I put some felt in something's making that rise up that's the heavy cable that's there that's this one Let's pull him through a bit it's getting close it's a bit too much stuff down in there which I'll just tidy up shortly actually i think it's pretty close all right i'll just find those other pieces there this is just a spacer that helps push that that way Again, some felt or even even painters tape if it's too too tight for the felt I'll put painters tape in here because I don't I don't want the pedals to be marked that one goes 
this down there just to give the Strymon just a bit of room. So how are we looking? What's tight? This one does sit right when it's in proper position. So there's a little bit of a spacer that I do have a spare old spacer here. Will it fit? Might be a bit fat. Yeah, I'll take a layer off it. But basically that'll settle down to the bottom there and give that a it's too firm, it's pushing too tight, too hard. Let's take a layer off there. <coughs> Something's not right in there. That's better. Something funny about the power there again. But we're looking pretty good overall. You can go there for now. All right, They're mostly in. This, this one I'm a bit worried about. There's, there's just not enough room for the cable to run underneath the pancakes there. The clearance. I do have a spare one of these cables, so if it'll fit, that might be thinner underneath there. So. I may need to swap that out as an experiment. Don't will it fit though? The problem is it's fatter. That's why those pancakes are good. So I need to work out what exactly to do there. But look, that's the effect. That's what we're going to have as our, our pedal board once we've finalised everything. So I plug it in. Everything's got power. that has intermittent power there. Okay, so we're going to have to do something with that power. That's got power, and that's got power, and that's got power. This guy's having a power problem. I've found sometimes these barrel connectors don't connect very well. Maybe if I run the power on that side. Foul it with this connector, so let's push that connector around the corner the other way. Interesting, just having a different orientation, it seems to work better. Everything on, no smoke.
It's that noise if it's noise. I'm going to output. So the only way I can hear it is through the headphones. So let's see if I can do that and see if I can detect any noise.